What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Go Mouth. Y'all been waiting on me? Yeah, I, look. Y'all probably not already greased y'all scabs and everything. If y'all did, I am sorry, y'all. Listen, I have to find time in my busy schedule when Nivea is asleep or I have to wait till her papa come home so he can watch her. Because I don't want to be up here greasing my scalp while she over here. Ah! I don't want to hear all that, okay, y'all? So we got to come, in up, come on up in here together and let's be one without the baby, okay? Take the chilling and put them to bed, okay? So they won't get on my nerves. Listen, y'all. I asked y'all yesterday in the video. Y'all know what we came to do, right? Grease our scalp. If you ain't grease your scalp, honey, you can still tune in. It don't matter. Moisturize your hair. Massage your scalp. Do something, girl. Or just pop you some popcorn and tune on in, okay? So I had asked you guys yesterday on my video, thanks to everybody who commented on my video yesterday girl let me get a little hard and bald up in here hold on i might need to turn this fan on chat um i had asked uh, a few of you guys yesterday um excuse me <laughs> um what y'all wanted to talk about in today's video and i got a few responses i'm gonna read i'm gonna we're gonna discuss a few of the topics and we're gonna say some of the topics for next friday so every friday you're gonna tune in right here on this channel next friday i'm gonna try to do it earlier but i was actually trying to wait until people got off work or whatever so they can greet this cap uh y'all let me know when y'all want me to um upload these type of videos this video on friday and earlier or should I do it in the evening? So everybody could be home and they could be chilling and y'all could be watching me or whatever. Or y'all want to do it in the daytime and go ahead and grease your scalp and get it over with. Okay, so just let me know, y'all, okay? So anyways, a few of the suggestions I got to talk about, um, you know, I'm going to discuss those. But first of all, you guys know, first and foremost, I do come prepared with my virgin hair fertilizer. I do order the four pack from Amazon. I know a couple of you guys said that they do now um, sell it in the um, the tube. Or what, what is Not the tube, the jar. Because these are the tube ones. But when I did my research and I figured out the price compared to how many grams it comes in the tube. Which is, um, oh my god, how many grams is this? Child, I don't know. But I forget, I forgot what it was. 125 grams. 125 grams for one tube. So... For the uh, price of that jar, um, it's actually m more money than how many grams you get. I think you get 200 grams in the jar. So for two tubes, you get 250 grams. So that's more than the price of... That's that's more the amount than the jar, and it costs less. So I'm gonna keep doing my get my tubes until they stop selling them, and then I'll graduate to the jar if they quit selling the tubes. But oh well. So if you got your tube, if you got your jar of virgin hair fertilizer, if you got you some regular hair grease, look, girl, I got a pimple. Man, come on, I haven't had a pimple since I was. <laughs> look, I don't know. <laughs> it, it ain't been that long ago, but it's been a while since I had a pimple. So, anyways, I got my virgin hair fertilizer already depotted, and it looks like this. I put it in this jar. Um, if y'all need another video on that, we can do that, too. But I am ready to grease my scalp, y'all. First and foremost, before I say anything else about this virgin hair fertilizer, let me go ahead and toot my own horn and sell my own product. Okay, this bonnet. This is a Betty Boot bonnet. Oh, I ain't even sure how many more left. I I got left in stock, but I do sell bonnets to everybody who's new to my channel. My bonnets, I sell my bonnets to um, help me with my medical bills with my cancer journey. Um, and if you guys want to support, go ahead and go look on my website at www. No, you don't even have to w. Just do goldencreations.webs.com. It's always in the description box beneath this video. So anyways, I'm going to turn around and show you this bonnet. And that's what this looks like. This is the red bitty boot bonnet. And it is also satin lined to protect your hair, honey child. <laughs> I wasn't slipping on nothing, okay? So anyways, let me take this bonnet off. And y'all gonna see the ratchetness of my hair. Because, listen, I know y'all just saw me upload the video, um, like, uh, when I did my hair. And that wasn't too long ago, child. So... Um, in real life, for real, for real, I actually had did my hair when I was in Florida, when I went to Florida. So today is Friday, January 18th. My hair has been done now for almost three weeks, almost three weeks. So it, what, three weeks is 21 days. So nine twenty one in three days, it'll be three weeks. So excuse the ratchet mess, but I'm going to ride me another, um, once my three week is up, I'm going to do me another week after that. So, I don't know when I'm taking it out. But guess what, y'all? I found this girl 
who does hair in Montgomery. I don't know who she is, but she was on Facebook and I had looked her up and I was like, girl, can you do my hair, please? I mean, it's not nothing big that I want. It's just something that I want my own hair braided, y'all. So this is a Shima Girl scarf, by the way. Um, I like wearing her scarf underneath my bonnet because the scarves always come off chai and then my bonnet just holds it in and it holds this bun in my head too chai so um this here is pinned down on my head so what i do is i lift it up and i take one of the pins out that i can reach that's close let me show y'all my whole ghetto fabulous head all right because nivia me and nivia be fighting like play fighting yeah, so I don't want y'all to think I be fighting a one-year-old. And she pulls the back of my hair like this. So, in my last video, y'all, when I was in the Walmart, um, y'all see one little plastic in that chat. I'm like, man, look at this. I'm going to still upload this video. So, um, I got a bobby pin in it. So, so I can't braid upside down, really. Like, I can't braid this going here and braid this. Poopy didn't, like, braid it tight enough. So, I just had to, like, get some bobby pins and put them back together. But... Whatever, child. It is what it is. So, I ain't got nothing on fleek. I came to y'all butt naked. <laughs> butt naked hair. I ain't fleek nothing. So, we just gonna start greasing our scalp together. Okay. And let me go ahead. I'm, I'm just, I'm all excited, girl. I'm amped up, girl. Oh! Okay. So, let me go all the way down to the first comment. Mmm, that gave me some suggestions. Somebody said, talk about how easy. Okay, Marla. Marla. Hi, Marla. She said, talk about easy home workouts for beginners. I need some motivation. Ooh, child, I need some too, girl. Easy home workouts. Girl, that will be starting... The easiest workout I can do, it might not be home, but the easiest one I can do is walk. That's the easiest one that I could do. Okay? Um, it's just walk. That's why y'all used to see me walking on the track and stuff a lot. And just walking. Because that's, I mean, everybody know how to walk. If if you're able, if you're able to walk, walk. Okay? That's that's the number one easiest one. Ain't no need of doing no sit-ups, no crunches, all that other stressful stuff. If you're trying to do like something easy for a beginner, it's walk walk pace yourself walk how, how far you can walk um um make yourself do a certain amount of walking each time you walk count the steps or however child just get on out there and walk well right about now it's cold in my grandma so i will be walking out the door i would be walking um i do have a treadmill i will be walking on a treadmill but um just because i got a treadmill don't mean i use it yeah so i have trouble with it right now so we on we on treadmill break girl so um I say walk. Um, yes, y'all. And this virgin hair fertilizer, y'all. If y'all have this virgin hair fertilizer, listen. Let me first say this. They ain't paid me to tell y'all about this virgin hair fertilizer. This is not a sponsored video. Ain't nobody never ever sent me no virgin hair fertilizer. So if y'all think, okay, this is just a sponsored video, like them other YouTubers, I, this is not it, okay? I bought this with my own money, doing my own thing, just like y'all, okay? So, um... Whenever I grease my scalp, I put it in there, and then I rub it in. Now, being that I got a ponytail, oh, man, what I what I do first, I didn't do right now, but let me go back and do it since I ain't finished it. I moisturize my hair with, uh, this is S-Curl spray that's in this bottle. I moisturize my hair. Let me put my glasses over there this time. I like to moisturize my hair before I grease it. So that way, um... So that way, when I put the um, virgin hair fertilizer in, the grease can lock in that moisture, y'all. I'm sorry, little side. I didn't put no moisturizer on you, but it's all right. And then, y'all, since I got this ponytail here, I like to try to lift it up a little bit. See how it's lifting up? Because I moved the pin. And I'm trying to get moisturized under there as good as I can, too. Ooh, that feels so good, child. You got to take care of under there. So you can't just, like, if you got your hair in a bun or something like that, you got to make sure you take care of it underneath because... I don't know about y'all, but when I have my hair like in one spot like this right here for a long time, I will break out underneath there. Like, I will literally like get broken out because I guess from being so dry, I don't know why, but make sure I get that moisturizer oh, under there. So that feels so good, y'all. Oh, thank you, Jesus. So yes, y'all. What the heck was I talking about, y'all? So yeah, um, walking out, working out, walking working out walking chad walking is the easiest at home workout that i can recommend okay i'm gonna be looking down because i'm i am like literally looking at y'all comments on my video um 
Changing your lifestyle after 40. Lady D, as far as hairstyles, a different style of clothing than usual. Trying makeup, getting in better health, working out. Trying something you've always been afraid to try. Oh, good girl. Girl, you wrote a paragraph. That's a lot. I might have to do some of them on the next video. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all of that. Um, Let me pick one. Pick a day and title when you and your hubby have a chat night with us. Well, we'll see how that work out. Because he kind of camera shot. Well, kind of. Um, as far as, um, I don't know. What we going to talk about if we do. Okay. So, ooh. I think I might know. Okay. Ooh, uh, something I was going to talk about in this video. So, maybe I can save that for the next video. Mm -hmm. Um... Tell us about starting a YouTube channel. That's something I'm thinking about doing. I don't know. Some of my thoughts I came up with since I've been thinking about starting. Okay, thinking about starting a YouTube channel. Listen, the best advice I can give is if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, um, you need to just go ahead and do it. And first of all, you need to make sure that your content... I need to be talking to myself too because some, sometimes, girl, I just come on and be talking about nothing at all. Make sure when you talk about, uh, when you're talking, you're talking about something that people are interested in. You're talking about some something that's a trending topic. Make sure you have good camera presence. Don't be scared of the camera. Like I'm talking right now, right here, right now. When I first, first started YouTube, girl, I was like, hey, y'all, um... I just came to show y'all um how I do my hair and stuff. But now, nah, you know, I'm just be like, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, girl, mom. You want to start out just like that. You know, some days I don't be feeling it and I just be talking low. But right now, you want to be somebody that's like full of energy, full of life, and not just you boring. Okay? Sometimes I'm boring. I'm guilty of that. Sometimes I'm boring. Hell, everybody is not interested in every single day 24-7. But I didn't have a choice, you know. Y'all greasing y'all scalp with me. So when you get this grease in your scalp, Try to massage it in. Like, give it a little massage. I know I'm messing up, like, all of my fleekage, whatever, all of my parts or whatever. But I'm, I'm, I got to get this grease in my hair. And I'm trying to go underneath this braid, too, y'all, as y'all can see. I'm digging under it and putting that grease in there. Trying to make sure I don't, like, leave no pieces of my scalp out. So, yeah. You want to make sure you somebody that's full of life, okay, honey? I mean, you ain't got to be, like, happy and hyper and stuff, but make sure you're interesting, you know? If you think you're an interesting person, then maybe you should be posting videos. I mean, that's, like, a good tip because everybody on YouTube ain't interesting. If you're not interested in yourself, then do something that's interesting. If you got something unique about you that ain't too many people got, then maybe you might be a good candidate to be a YouTuber. If you do something that a lot of people don't do that's actually exciting or interesting then maybe you'll be a good candidate for youtube but if you're a boring person and you have no life i can i don't know i guess if you're a boring person and you have no life and you really have nothing to talk about on youtube then you probably wouldn't be a good candidate unless you get a life out of nowhere and then you start getting excited and energetic and posting videos and be like hey you got to catch the attention, okay? <laughs> so, I mean, unless you're just an oddball, it's something odd about you, something odd about your looks. Are you very pretty? Are you very ugly? I'm not even lying. <laughs> different things attract different people. Now, I'm not lying. You can be real ugly and real popular on YouTube because you ugly. But ain't nobody going to tell you you ugly, but that's just facts. You know, people be wanting to tune in just to look at you and tell you ugly. Now, it might be... Y'all, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not playing, y'all. Now, it might be a case where you might be very, very pretty. It might be people that want to come on and just say, oh, she's so pretty. I just like looking at her. I just like looking at her talk. Oh, okay, you might be a person that's like down to earth. You feel like it's like you love everybody. You're always happy about everything. And you seem like you're real cool to talk to, which might be somewhere in the category that I fit in. Um, Then people just might flock to you and to your channel, okay? Um, Other than that, um, or if you do something interesting, okay, like, um, I don't know, something, a, a talent that other people don't, that, that's not very common, okay? So, other than that, y'all, I mean, if you feel like doing YouTube and you boring as all that does, get on. It might be some boring people out here in this world that just might love you, baby. You know, you never know until you try. Go ahead and try. I say try. You get an A for L for honey. If it's something that you don't like, it take a long time for people to to um some some 
people, it take a long time for them to like gain an audience. Like me, I gained the audience real fast and then all of a sudden I got real slow because the thing that I gained the audience for kind of went away, which was hip hop abs. You know, back in the days I was like a real good advocate for hip hop abs and they so, so nicely, um, gave me a copyright strike on my channel girl just i'm like what and i don't sold all y'all dvds for the free free <laughs> that's all right you read what you sell baby so anyways that's just my advice on how to start a youtube channel um and you need some good quality uh uh, uh camera uh in 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 lighting and all of that good stuff but I, I i ain't the one to talk i got good quality lighting right here but when i go outside and vlog i got my crappy phone child and child you can't be it's all cloudy whatever we're gonna upgrade when it, when the law bless me with some phone money okay but right for right now it is what it is girl um so okay that's that so let me go to another one of y'all questions thank you so much for that question um who that was that was lady d thank you so much um so go ahead and start your channel girl you ain't gonna know unless you start you ain't gonna know if you're interested or not if you think you're interested start okay okay next question um Woo, talk about adjusting to married life. Kimberly, how to get used to sharing space with a man and how your sons made the adjustment. Woo, chat. Woo, chat. Woo, chat. Okay, let, let's break that one down. How to get adjusted to the married life. Okay, listen. Listen. I don't even know where to start. Okay, okay. I've been married for about four years now. And you guys, if you've been with me for a while, you remember when I was single. You remember when I lived in Florida. I was I was doing YouTube videos back then in my bathroom. Y'all should remember that. That's why I became most popular because people like my body shape, my body type, and, and the small waist, the big booty, all of that thing was going on, you know. So, um, and speaking of that, that was what was unique about me, that I was all natural and that I had a, like a pear shape, hourglass shape, whatever shape you want to call it um and a lot of people was trying to get that look okay so anyways long story short adjusting to the married life you guys know i, sh I even showed y'all my wedding pictures we talked about the wedding and all of that stuff together and and the move to alabama i'm here now okay so listen in order for me to get to get adjusted to this married life, it was super duper, super duper hard. I just made a post on my Facebook page the other day. The other day, after almost four years of being here, that I'm just now becoming, I'm just now wanting to become an Alabamian. Is that the word? An Alabamian girl. Yeah, so I'm just now wanting to become an Alabamian. I hope y'all greasing y'all scat while I'm talking. Uh, y'all ain't even got to be greasing y'all scat. I'm be greased man because I'm just talking myself up. So, um, after my last visit to Florida, which y'all saw, um, I, I decided, I, I discovered that I need to be where I'm presently living, which is Alabama, and live instead of just being here existing i'm tired of existing in alabama and the reason why i was ex well one of the reasons why i was existing in alabama because i've been homesick for so long y'all so long i've been homesick and so long i've been sick sick okay so i've never had a chance to live because after i'm battling with being homesick um during the time i'm being homesick i got sick sick so the whole while I've been in Alabama, I've been some type of sick. You feel me? So I've never had a chance to live. I've never even had a chance to let myself like Alabama because I hated it from the start. Because I hated being away from my mama. I hated being away from my grandma. I hated being away from my whole entire family. My whole entire family is from the same neighborhood, y'all. Y'all don't understand. This little country girl right here, her whole family from the same hood, okay? Like, for real. And... and out of my whole family, I'm going to say like 70% of us still live in that same hood, okay? Maybe, maybe 60%, but we still from that hood, okay? So, to leave my family that I've been around for the last 36 years is how old I was when I got married. I'm now 41. Girl, I've been married that long. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, I remember I'm 37. Okay, so yeah. Um, it, it was hard. It was hard because I left my mama. I left my aunties, my grandmama, my sister, and I'm from a big family. I'm not from your little average Joe family. I'm from a big, big family. My husband is from a very small family, so 
to have me come here where there is kind of like no family at was like a big change because not only is he from a small family he has a family that really don't have no there is nobody in his family that's my age nobody all his family is mostly his aunts and uncles which are old people like my mom and stuff age i don't want to hang out with old folk okay pure point blank you know i would i would have loved him to have like a family member that would probably would have been around my age or something that we could have hung or whatever but still at the same time i don't girl i was too homesick to even give them people a chance and and listen <laughs> i just did not so oh my hat is peppermintying and burnting okay um so yeah that was that and uh i just i just never gave nobody a chance and not even that i didn't feel like welcomed because everybody oh who the, i don't want to hang around yo mom and aunties all the time you know and then so i don't know nobody here outside of that um i hope y'all reading y'all scouts while we gossiping child about me we gossiping about me child so i didn't know nobody here outside of that so it was kind of awkward it was an awkward feeling to move somewhere you ain't never been before and you don't know nobody and you a homebody I'm not an adventurous person at all. I don't like to go out to the wild blue yonder and introduce myself to everybody I see. I can, I don't, I'm just not that type of person. But when you see me, I'm friendly. I'm friendly. I'm not outgoing. Like, I'm not just going to go out there and be like, hey, I want to see the world and meet everybody and tell everybody, hey, that's not me. I'm, I want to stay in the house and be safe and feel like this is my safe haven, okay? Y'all, maybe I did a number to my little hair, but I'm going to go try to get up on it. And look, I know my scalp is going to be greasy as all that though, but it's all good. Trying to get in there. Yeah, so adjusting to the married life, y'all. Me being a single mom, like I was, single mom, and coming here, like, me and my husband, we got married real fast. Like, within, it was, we, we dated long distance, y'all. We was in a long distance relationship. He didn't know me. I didn't know him <laughs> for, for a while. I mean, um, as far as us face to face, we had a lot of FaceTime, a lot of um, letters. Well, he didn't do letters. I used to write him little letters and stuff that you know to come to his mail or whatever. Girl, I was so I was so sweet. <laughs> but um, it just happened, y'all. I didn't even know that. You know, I didn't even know that this was all going to happen. This was not in my plan because my plans in my life was to never leave my home, never leave my grandparents. And I feel, sometimes I feel like a guilty feeling because I left and me and my grandma and my granddaddy, my grandparents, period, we grew up, we grew up on the same street. Like even as an adult, my house was on the opposite street of my grandma we my grandma here i'm here y'all know because when i when i vlogged in florida that time i walked around the corner to my house that's how close i always been to my grandparents you know grandparents are kind of like parents but they get so old to at the point that they need you and i felt like i felt guilty because i'm like dang i should have been there because i was the closest grandchild that lived like right there that was able that was able to you know help out with them in their old age and i felt like man i i should have i should have stayed there a little while longer to keep my um to be able to care for my grandparents as much you know as they needed uh me so um that was an adjustment did i talk about that right i don't know child if i did y'all leave me some comments down below of some things y'all want me to talk about in the next friday video child because woo girl we can go ahead and turn up listen y'all did y'all see that little girl that song that patty labelle song on steve harvey this morning oh ho, ho, girl she sung that thing you hear me and then patty labelle walked down and she was just like oh, and she just stopped that was that was beautiful y'all i was i was crying <laughs> i'm a big baby y'all but anyways y'all i am done greasing my scalp so I don't want to just turn off the video. My hat is tingling right now, so praise God for the tingling. Look how much I got left, y'all. This is in this container holds one tube, so I know I'm glad I got these size containers, which is like four ounce containers. Um, I know somebody had mentioned on that last video, why don't I just put them all in one big thing? Um, I don't want to do that because these like my little four ounce containers. It gives me, it lets me know that this is a tube. And this is a tube. These are the old um, glazed edges containers that I had from when I used to actually do hair in my salon um, by influences, whatever. Uh, Y'all know. <laughs> so, um, 
one tube of this goes in one here. So that way I can keep my, my stuff measured out. So I don't want to overuse it, you know. Well, it's kind of hard not to use a lot of it. I, don't think, I think I done been in this four times, five, six, I don't know, four, five times, you know. And if I would have just been squeezing it straight out of that tube, child, I might have used, I might have would have used a tube two times for real, cause it don't, it don't let you like eyeball what you're doing and stuff. So, um, let me try to go into this a little bit more. So yeah, adjusting to the married life, y'all. That was that was really really hard because I was a single mom for so long, and for me to be married and to share my stuff, like. My life, my bed, my sanity, my anything, financially, physically, mentally, it was a change because I just went from like, okay, I live here, okay, we trying, I didn't want to come to Alabama. But the reason why we came to Alabama, Alabama is for financial reasons. My husband had a better job than me. I actually had two jobs at the time. And plus I was doing hair. Plus I was making YouTube videos. So I did have multiple streams of income um, coming. But his one job trumped all my little jobs, girl. So, um, and, but, but. Since now I don't have a job, he pays all the bills. So it's kind of like he we don't got no money <laughs> for real. So he paid because he had to pay all the bills. And since I came here with my kids, um, the bills went up. So whatever. But we living though, child. We living. So um, the adjustment was hard, as y'all can see right now. And plus, I make YouTube videos. When I first first moved here. I was like, okay, woo, I got a husband now, so we're going to be doing all this. Um, we got to sleep together. We got to share a room. We got to do all of that. But at the end of the day, it was my idea to leave the room. I don't I don't share a room with my husband. And I like it like that. We like it like that. And for, it was my idea because he was tripping at first. Like, no, you can't do this. You can't. No, please don't go. He like, yeah, like I was leaving him, child. So... Um, once he got used to it, he actually liked it because we are very much opposite and I don't want to live my life stuck in his life and I don't want him to be stuck in my life. Like, like for instance, he liked to watch <clears throat> scary movies, horror movies, anything stupid on TV. He liked to watch it. Me, I don't even like to watch TV, so I don't even want the TV on. If y'all ever got to know me, you'll know nine times out of 10, I'm not watching TV. I might watch YouTube. I might watch some Netflix every blue moon only reason my tv be on now is because nivia is here with me and she watch her little cartoons or whatever but other than that i very seldomly turn my tv on i don't know why i'm just weird that way i'm probably like one of the only people i know that don't even have the tv on i just have a tv in my room um i think i turn i, I love to watch meet the browns awkward right i know i know but because meet the browns didn't come on no more but i got a whole dvd sets from amazon and um I randomly picked about one at a time one year and I and I still like Mr. Brown. I just I just that's the only time I watch TV. It's not that like I just sit and watch Mr. Brown all the time because I don't. But honey, when I do watch him, woohoo, we be laughing at the same stuff over and over again. Yeah, I don't seen it fifty eleven times, but it's it's always funny to me each time. Okay, y'all, so but we settled and we happier that we in separate rooms and that's better for us. I know everybody probably don't agree with that, but we actually are much happier because I don't feel like I'm pressured to watch something on TV because he want to watch TV. And I don't feel like I don't feel bad because I don't want to watch TV and the TV off and he just sitting there looking like, oh, I ain't got the TV on. I don't want him to like feel bad because he want to watch TV and I don't or he is not even just a tv it's our whole we kind of like opposite but we kind of the same because we both crazy as heck <laughs> we both got a, a good attitude and and then he wake up grumpy i don't wake up grumpy ever when i wake up i'd be so happy and thankful my husband wake up like the grinch finna steal christmas all the time and i'd be like why do, are you not glad that you woke up this morning? Are you not thankful? That's what I be letting him. I, he just wake up like that. You had to give him like 30 minutes or so. And then he be like regular. I don't know why. I ain't not. <laughs> Girl, I don't know why. I ain't not. Look, I'm, I've got a wet wipe right here, y'all. And I'm wiping the grease off my hand. That's what I'm doing. So, 
yeah, and we get we 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 do better like that. We have at first he was kind of like, no, she's gonna leave me. This the first thing you do, you leave that, you leave the room, and then that thing you know you'll be going back to Florida. Child ain't went nowhere, and I ain't going nowhere. Um, unless I gotta go somewhere now. Um, but other than that, we be good. Uh. I need to I need to put this gel. I'm gonna go ahead and do go through my whole phase right now since I got y'all and we talking. So so yeah, we good. If anybody don't need any further questions, I right, let me elaborate. We can we can ask. Girl, listen, comment section is down below. Feel free to open your mouth. If you don't open your mouth, I ain't gonna know what you want, okay? So and, oh, used to share in a space with a man. Listen, I don't share no space with the man. I'm all over the question, Kimberly. Kimberly Davis, um, we don't share our space as far as the same room. Um, Every now and then, well, listen. <laughs> I ain't going to say we don't share the same room because we do go in the room when we need to go in the room. I do. We do have sleepovers. Put it like that. We do have sleepovers because I'm not in here 24-7. Sometimes we might. It's not like random sleepovers. We have. Sometimes we'll, I'll spend a whole week in there. Um, I go in there whenever I feel like it. It's not like we don't sleep. We don't sleep in the same bed at all. But I just got my space. He got his space. But we do come together all the time, okay? Um, if y'all get my drift. Um, so let me go to another question. I might have time for another question before my video get too long. Oh Jesus, girl. Um, anybody else said? Now y'all better. Somebody said, "Do I have any hair horror stories, honey?" Who said that? Ka, ka, or is it Kai? K A H, ka. Um, I do. The only horror story I have with my hair, unfortunately, is when I. When it fell out when I was taking chemo and radiation. Other than that, um, anything going on with my hair from, from when I was younger. Um, when I was younger, my mama would let me do anything to my hair that I wanted to do. She did not care if I went in and cut it bald. She never said nothing because it was always cute. And she'd be like, oh, you cut your hair. Oh, that's cute. And... I wasn't like that with my daughters because if they would have went in there and cut their hair, I would flip out. You better not cut your hair. I grew your hair. That's my hair on your head. My mama used to say that to my sister, but she never said that to me because I remember her saying, you know, I grew your hair. You better not cut the hair until you get old enough to get out and be on your own. Then you can cut your hair. But she never do me like that. I guess maybe because I was a baby and she hadn't went through that with them. But, um... I was able to cut my hair and be free so that's that's one thing that got me into doing hair uh let me let me, let me do this y'all got me into doing hair when i was younger is that my mama just kind of just like kind of just let me get away with stuff you know i mean she wasn't your average mama that'd be like if you don't get that stuff out your head but i didn't dye my hair any kind of crazy ways and stuff like that y'all this is um design foam olive oil mango you know mousse wrap lotion or whatever child so i'm just gonna put a little bit of this on my head this y'all i'm trying to stretch my hair another four weeks y'all for real for real so yeah i didn't have hair horror stories oh one time when i was younger i went to the um my mama took me to the hair salon and let the lady cut my hair um like a t-boss cut i had like a tony braxton cut on this big old head why well, ain't nobody tell me i had a big head when i was little like i had a big head i still got a big head but at this point in my life like i don't care y'all this part is like a loose so i'm just gonna twist it up in there and wrap it around i don't I, look i don't care what it look like at this point because it's time for it to get taken down and I'm just going to wrap these little things around. And I'm going to stick a bobby pin up in there. It's already a bobby pin in there. But I don't even feel it no more. So I just get a nut and try. I just get a nut and... Ooh, I got no little ones. Come through little bobby pins. Yeah, child. So I was able to do anything I wanted to my hair without my mama fussing. Because I was experimenting. I experimented on me. They didn't have dummies back then. Like mannequins and stuff. So I learned how to do finger waves on my head. Everybody was always say, Oh, yeah, that's so cute. Because, girl, I was just finger waving my little butt off back then. But... Um, yeah, horror stories is, you know, that's not horror, but it's just a little bit of peekaboo on my hair. And I'm going to tie this up since I hit it with that mousse, y'all. And let me see what else I got to go talk about my hair. Yeah, I did. Listen, if y'all don't know, I did. I have been natural before, before now. Um, it was back in like 2000. 
10, 11, and 12. I was natural. I was all natural, and I did not like it. I didn't like my hair. I couldn't deal with it. I just didn't like it, you know. I like my hair being text likes now. I'm satisfied. So that's that's the story to that. If a lot of people probably don't think, oh, she ain't never been natural. First off, I was born natural. <laughs> Secondly, yes, I was natural as an adult, and I just did not like it. Just not something that I liked. Okay. Maybe I just need to tie this right here. I'm gonna tie this right here a little light so I can be this out of the way. So yeah, y'all. Um, that is it, y'all. Thank you guys so much for, um fertilizing y'all hair with me y'all greasing your scalp and everything so i'm gonna do my edges before i tie this up because i don't want this video to be too too long but it's gonna be long y'all it's gonna be long so go ahead and pop y'all hope y'all pop y'all some popcorn and get ready for next week because we're gonna be talking about me or, who, or whoever again okay and if y'all did not see that patty labelle that little girl sing that patty labelle song go ahead on over to steve harvest channel he posted it today I think it was this morning when he posted it. Or it was, was it the day or yesterday? Child, I don't know when it was, but honey, that little girl got some lungs on her. And Patty LaBelle walked that. Look, see, this oil, this grease mixed with this gel makes it white. You see the whiteness coming along? So, um, that's why that happened. But it's, it's going to fade away once I tie it down and all of that good stuff. Um, but this is Got To Be Glued Ultra um, Invincible Styling Gel that looks like this. Okay, so I'm just going to do my edges and I'm going to tie this up and we're going to be done with this thing, y'all. We're going to be done with this thing. I hope y'all enjoyed talking to me and watch me grease my scalp and I hope y'all grease y'all scalp too. So, um, um, I hope you guys watch the whole video. If you watch this whole video, y'all, y'all, tell me y'all watch the whole video. Just say I watched the whole video, okay? And, um... Actually, don't say that because then people going to be saying I watched the whole video and then they're going to be lying. Actually, look, say Duck Duck Goose. <laughs> Why that came to my head? <laughs> say Duck Duck Goose if you watch the whole video. Yo, I do have great edges, but this ain't great edges. Trust me, this is eternal white. But um, I'm going to go ahead and do my edges as good as I can while well, I got all the product in it anyway. This going to dry up because I got the mousse in there and all of that good stuff. So, my edge is going to be on fleek in the morning. So, um, y'all let me know if y'all enjoy this or not because I enjoy talking to y'all. Y'all already know. I just needed something to come on with y'all with and for us to like grease our scalps, get into better hair health. And y'all listen, besides greasing y'all scalp, make sure um, y'all drink some water drink a lot of water because drinking a lot of water um helps your hair too your hair and your skin as y'all can see you know what i have not been drinking that much water maybe that's why i got that pimple right there like for real for real but y'all hold on for one second my battery about to die okay y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and do my little edges and get off this thing, y'all. I had a nice time chatting with y'all. Listen, if I didn't get to y'all's question or suggestion, I am going to, next time I'm going to get me a book. I got a book already that I'm going to write y'all questions. Write y'all questions. Listen, here, chat. I am going to write you guys questions down in my book. So that way when we come on on Fridays and grease our scalp child, I have them all written down in front of me. So if I didn't get to your question this time, I will get it. I will get to it next week. And if you have more than one question, I will try to get to those questions as well. Now, um, if I didn't answer your question and you feel like you want me to answer your question for real, for real, and I missed it, re, re ask me again down at the bottom. Okay, girl? Okay. So, I'm trying to just get my little hair right and tight. So, that way it'll be all right in the morning. And all this little white stuff is going to be gone, y'all. So, don't worry about that. I'm going to tie it up. I'm sure. I don't know what it look like in the back. It might not even look like a braid no more because it really don't feel like now. So my hair been braided for three weeks, y'all. And um, ooh, child, it don't even listen when Pooby Pooby gonna be Pooby ain't here, y'all. So Pooby be back on uh one of these. Uh, Pooby be back soon. So when she do come back, I'm gonna see if I can take this down and have her braided up so I can last me my uh I need it to last three weeks. Three weeks is my goal, I believe. I didn't try to do like two too long term this time because I won't I found a hairstylist, y'all. I found me a braider in Montgomery. Hopefully, hopefully she's some good. 
I just seen her on Facebook, so hopefully she's some good. She just gonna braid my real hair. I'm not getting like nothing extravagant, uh, you no know, no weave and all of that stuff. I'm just gonna get my real hair braided. Um, yeah, Pooby can braid my hair too, but I've been looking for somebody in Montgomery to braid my hair because Pooby leaving soon, and I ain't trying to have her be braiding my hair. And then she gonna be gone. Then I'm gonna be mad because she gone. And I ain't got, got nobody to braid my hair. So I found this girl. So. By her Facebook post, her, her hairstyle look pretty neat, but I don't want no weave in my hair. I just, well, I, I want, I don't want weave braided into my hair. How about that? Because I don't think I said that correctly. Not at this time. I ain't got nothing against weave or none of that. Y'all already know that. I ain't got, look, my hair's so big, this thing can turn around. I said I was going to sew me another piece onto this and just let it do, but it, it always slide off in the middle of the night, but I like the fact that it's on there or whatever. <laughs> It made me feel good because it's on. I just took it underneath and um, pulled that up so I can lay my edges a little bit. Yeah, child. So I enjoyed this this brain um uh, this brain this here uh what we doing, girl? I enjoyed greasing my scalp with y'all, and um, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I'm sorry it's so late. Next time you guys let me know how late you want to grease your scalp. I know some of y'all probably been like, girl, I've been waiting on you all day, and this video gonna take forever to process. So right now in real time, it is 6:22. Not sure at what time this video is gonna be uploaded or what time, how long YouTube gonna take, but hopefully we get it in. We got it. I got it in on enough time to um let you guys tune in and we did it this together. Anyways, y'all, I'm just talking so much, y'all. That's it for this. Uh, that concludes this first series of the Fertilizer Fridays, y'all. Y'all, let's rejoice because we got us a new thing to look forward to every Friday. Grease your scalp, honey. Okay? Listen, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And that's all I got to say. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye. Leave y'all questions down below. Don't forget. Okay?